So this is our Mercedes-Benz 450 SLC and it is, I'm sure most of you will agree with me on this, very, very cool looking car. It gets a lot of attention, the paintwork it's got and the wheels and just all together, it's such a lovely looking Merc. Paint work goes for the wheels. 16 inch wheels, which matches the uh, paint work of the car. Chrome's all good. It's ticking over nicely. I'll walk through the interior engine bay and take it for a drive as we uh, go on. I've just shown you around the exterior to begin with. A lot of people pulling up saying how lovely this car is. It's a very classy but cool looking car. Not a lot of cars you can drive at 30 miles an hour and look cool in, but this you certainly can. Well, I think so anyway. As we move around to the side of the car, paint works lovely. I try not to use lovely too much in this video, but it just comes naturally when you look at a car like this. Chrome around the windows, all around here is all nice. Windscreen, and this one's also got the uh, sunroof that opens electronically, and I'll show you that working shortly as we get on. Coming around to the back profile of the car, again that lovely profile comes around to the back of the car quite a classy back end bit retro as well again paint works all good I'm sure you can tell by that beautiful finish in the paintwork So is the glass as well. I love these bits here. They're sort of like curtains. I know they're sort of they're meant to look like that, or at least it looks like that anyway. But Now we believe the uh, seats on this car and the steering wheel is off a, uh, a later SOC Merc wide body. We'll jump in sight. electric windows down here now this one does the this one here does the uh, um, it's called sunroof I just jump out and show you the condition there we go but I like having it open there's the condition of the headlining before I close it up it presents extremely well I'll show you the seats in a second. I will turn the engine off in a second. Actually, no, I'll leave it running so you can hear it when I uh, show you the uh, engine bay. Uh, the seats for the steering, for the seats, sorry, the controls for the seats, sorry. <laughs> Got there eventually. Right, now as for the uh, seats, if I zoom in normally. So 
So as well as the steering wheel, this car's also got wheels, different wheels, different steering wheel, and these lovely Recaro seats. Not only are these seats uh, comfortable, but they look I'm going to use the word cool again, aren't I? They look the bee's knees, how's that? Possibly not the best word, but... Just above the bring the seat forward, there we go, the back seat. Again, presents all nice and good. Zoom out a bit, there we go. Oh, sorry. Um, and now if I show you under the bonnet, I'll show you the boot in a sec as well. I haven't forgotten about the boot. I'm getting there. There's the other side. I hope I'm not going too quick and also I hope I'm not going too slowly either. Uh, for you guys watching this, bear with me, I've just got to open this bonnet now, sometimes it's a bit tricky. Oh, there we go, first time. squeaky noises a van down the bottom if anyone's wondering not the car oh, the paintwork is just oh it's like a brownie grayy oh it's just it's such a lovely color and so quickly if I can do it with one hand oh, there we go here's the boot in the back Hopefully, I've covered everything on the walk around. I'm now going to take it for a uh, just a brief drive so you can see what it's like and how comfortable it is, and then we'll end it. End it there. Right, guys, you join me here out in the Merc. This is the first time I've driven it. So to run you through the uh, engine specs, it's got a 4.5 litre V8 petrol with around about 200, to be precise, 217 brake horsepower, automatic transmission, and just driving it, doing 40 miles an hour. It is so comfortable, so smooth, honestly. It's lovely, it really is lovely. Going around the bends now, Now, for those wondering, the uh, car does seem a bit 
boaty if you like it's a bit you know boaty at the corners but it's bound to be it's an old car it's got that sort of chassis with that shape that has that sort of a uh, boaty feel at the corners but it's expected from a car like this and and the straight lines it's lovely it's so calm comfortable smooth If I just put the windows up for a second, just bear with me. If I put the sun visor, something I've just realised, if I wait for the cars to come through, I'm going to be here for a while. Oh, can I go now? Let me through, let me through, there we go. Something you realise, I've only just realised this actually, not only is it very comfortable, but it's very quiet in here as well. Oh my God. I can hear the clock ticking, I promise you. I can hear the clock ticking from here. It's that quiet in here. That's amazing. That really is amazing. <laughs> I thought there was some sort of ticking noise, but it's the clock. That's a good ticking noise, by the way. Not a bad sort of noise coming from the engine. It's uh, you know a car's quiet and uh, luxurious when you can hear the top clicking. So how does it drive at high speeds? Back to 40 miles an hour, picks up nicely. It honestly is lovely. Brakes are good, steering wheel's not pulling to the left or right as I'm braking and again it picks up nicely, no hesitations or anything like that at all. Like I've shown you guys, the interior is lovely, presents very well. For a car that's done this and many miles, it presents extremely, extremely well. Probably as you might expect from a Merc, it's a high quality car manufacturer. They're known for their uh, refinement, especially from this era. Um, yeah, steering wheel's got a nice feel to it. Like I said, this is a, I believe this is a modification to the car along with the seats. Seats are very comfortable, huggy tight in from both the bottom and the sides. Uh, the uh, factory seats are a bit, although they're all cushioned well, they didn't hug you well at the corners and they weren't as comfortable and didn't make you feel as snug in that sense. Going right here. Actually, if I, sorry, I do apologise for everyone. I'm going to take this car at high speeds, about 70 miles an hour, so you guys can have a feel for what this, like, feel for what this is like at high speeds. So I'm going to cut this video in about two seconds and then continue uh, when I'm about to hit the national speed. So I'll see you in a short while. So I'm now about to hit the uh, national speed. I'm about to go on an A road for a very uh, short time. Taking up to 70. I'm not putting my foot all the way down. Oh, it's not good when you got to we go out of the way. One thing you do realise when you're driving this car is, apart from it being very quiet, like I've said, is that you don't really feel the urge to put your foot down at all. I haven't actually put my foot down properly hard yet once, and I don't feel the urge to. It's just the car you feel like just cruising in, taking one second at a time in your life. Just take one step at, at, one step at a time and just enjoy the car. Now doing 60, 65. It's lovely. A break now. Brakes are good. And again, picks up nicely again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it useful for those that live far away or close by even. Um, you're welcome to test drive the car uh, or view the car at all. Um, please give us a call on 01277 563 561 um, or you can email us info at fairmontsportsandclassics.com. Uh, all our contact details are in the YouTube description down below or click on our website for more details and we look forward to seeing you, hearing from you. Thank you for watching and uh, yeah, see you soon. Cheers.